Hey there, I'm Paul Wolf from onespoonatatime.com. In today's video, you're going to learn how to solve the problem of coming up with ideas for your video, for your video marketing campaigns, and coming up with ideas that are both informative and relevant to your target audience. Now I'm going to show you a three-step process to come up with endless video ideas, and each step of the process can generate our ideas on its own, but what I really like about this process is the steps can be used sequentially to A, define what information your target audience wants to know, B, get a good idea what your target audience is actually searching for and, and what they're watching as well, and C, drilling down on a topic area to find a virtually limitless supply of ideas that you can use as starting points to make videos. Now, the three steps in this process are A, the target profile interview, B, doing research on YouTube, and C, drilling out, drilling down using Amazon.com. Now let's get started with the first step of the process, and that's the target profile interview. So before we do a target profile interview, let me quickly define exactly what a target profile is. Now, a target profile is a real person. It's not an imagined persona. And it's someone who you would like to have hundreds of or thousands of or more in your subscriber list or in your client base. Now, when you settle on a target profile, here's what you need to do. You get them on the telephone or Skype and you interview them. And during the interview, the really important piece of information that you're searching for is to find out what are the pain points that your target profile is experiencing. What things are holding them back? What things are overwhelming them so they can't make forward progress? Understanding these pain points for your target profile gives you some great, great starting ideas for creating content that can be used in your video marketing campaign. Now, this video came about because my buddy, Adrienne Smith of adriennesmith.net, asked me how she could come up with multiple ideas for videos for her YouTube channel. Now, Adri Adrienne hasn't done a target profile interview to my knowledge. Um, I aim to persuade her that she should though because the information you get is so powerful and so useful when you're creating content in terms of videos, blog posts, even when you're then taking the next step and creating content for products. So for the next step in the process for this video, what we needed to do was summarize Adrienne's target audience. And how she summarized it were people who were very interested in blogging and all the associated questions of blogging, like what are the best opt-in offers? How can you get more engagement with your audience? How can you drive more traffic? How can you integrate autoresponders? Those kind of questions. She also mentioned, and this was the area I chose to pursue for this vi video, that she has a lot of newbie bloggers amongst her target audience. Now, once we know that we've got newbie bloggers, the next step is to drill down on that and create lots of new topics. And step two of the process is to head over and research on YouTube. Now YouTube, as well as being the daddy of internet marketing, is also the second most popular search engine on the internet, as you can see from this screenshot from Alexa.com. Google, of course, is the most popular search engine. Facebook is the second most popular website on the internet, which isn't a search engine. And then at number three, you've got YouTube, social media website, but also a search engine in its own right. I often go and search tutorials on YouTube and many other people do too. So this is really important because you can take the pain points that we got from our target profile interview and we can check on YouTube what videos have been made that address these pain points and then, and this is really important, how many times these pain points have been watched. Now the reason this is important is because if you've got a topic that's being watched in the tens of thousands or the hundreds of thousands, then you're far more likely to get significant traffic back to your blog if you make videos in this topic area than if a, a video is only being watched on YouTube by a few hundred people. Now we'll see this in a second. I took Adrienne's information that her audience contains newbie bloggers and I searched on YouTube for newbie bloggers and here's what I came up with and I highlighted the view counts in red and you can see they're not very encouraging 27, 17, 65 that video has been up for a year 65 views in a year tells you either that the video is very poorly optimized which is possible 
or that people just aren't searching for this term. Now, to find out what they are actually searching for, I did a bit of lateral thinking. If it's a newbie blogger, the kind of pain points he's likely to have are how to actually get started and the mechanics of getting started. For most newbie bloggers, that means WordPress and there's a learning curve associated with WordPress. So I went back to YouTube and I typed in WordPress tutorials in the search box of YouTube and suddenly we've got much more positive results. If you see here, um, I've ignored the first two videos because they're promoted videos. They've got a yellow background to them. That means those people are advertising on YouTube and if people click on their videos, they will pay YouTube a, a pay-per-click fee. But the two videos underneath it and the rest of the videos on this search page, if you go and replicate this search for yourself, have all got really healthy view counts. You see the top one's got 750,000 views, the next one down to 189,000 views. They're really healthy numbers. And you know that if you create videos on these topics, then there are people searching for them. And if you can get them to watch your videos, then you can drive them back to your blog or website you'll get the traffic boost from that which is the whole point of doing this kind of marketing um, the one thing though is WordPress tutorial is a very vague search term and doesn't give you as a potential video creator much in the way of specific ideas to create videos and that's where step three of the process comes in and a really fantastic way of building out a general topic area is to use Amazon.com and that's step three of this process. Now you might be thinking about Amazon.com, isn't that a bookstore? How is that going to help make videos? Well it won't help make videos but what it does help is brainstorm video ideas. And here's how it works. If we continue on with the theme of WordPress tutorials for newbie bloggers. Let's search for books on Amazon that teaches WordPress for beginners and then what you're looking for when you get the search results that Amazon returns is books with the look inside icon above the thumbnail. You can see I found a book here, Teach Yourself Visually WordPress, and it's got this look inside icon above the thumbnail of the book. Now, the look inside icon tells you that you can search some of the book's contents. And usually what that includes, and it's the piece of information that we're looking for, is the table of contents. You can see here in the red rectangle. This is the sections of the book that you can search on Amazon. So you can have a look and see the kind of content that's involved before you make a purchasing decision. Now we're not using it for that, we're using it to generate ideas. Now if you click on the table of contents and then scan down those table of contents, for example here, chapter one, choose a version of WordPress, choose a blog topic, research blog titles, buy a domain name, plan your blog's content. All of those chapter ideas could give you I, uh, yourself ideas for starting points to make videos for your target audience, your target profile. Each of these chapter titles could be a, a video in a series teaching WordPress for newbie bloggers. And again, here's some more. If you look to chapter three and chapter four, um, install WordPress via your host automatic installation. It'd be a tutorial video on using Fantastico or something like that, or some kind of one-click installation. Download WordPress software, teach, you how, teach your target audience how to download the actual WordPress software. Set up your MySQL database. Again, that could be another video tutorial. So all of these chapter titles, and these are the subheads of the chapters, can give you ideas for videos. Now, whenever I've taught this concept, people always say to me, isn't this a breach of copyright? And the answer to that question is it's a clear no. We are not, repeat, not buying the book and reading the content. All we're doing is using the table of contents as an idea for topic ideas for you to create videos of. And you don't have to make a video to equal every chapter or every subheading in a book. And you don't have to use just one book either. There are plenty of good WordPress books on Amazon that you could search the table of contents for in the manner I've just shown you to generate ideas for creating videos for your own video marketing campaigns. So the clear answer is this isn't a breach of copyright. So it's really important to know that. What this is, is a really powerful way to instantly generate 
10, 20, 30, 40, literally hundreds of ideas, and each of those ideas then becomes the starting point for a video. Now you have to actually take that idea, turn it into a headline or a video title, and then go and actually create some kind of video that teaches the promise of that headline or video idea. So it's clearly not a copyright breach because you're providing your knowledge of the topic to your target audience from this basic idea stem. So let's just summarize what we looked at today. What's great about this three-step process we've talked about is that the, in the target profile interview, you find out what the pain points are for the kind of people that you want to have on your list or you want as clients. In step two of the process, you head over to YouTube and you verify that there are enough videos out there that address these pain points that the target profile interview has raised and that enough people are actually on YouTube watching these videos to make your investment of time in creating videos worthwhile. And in step three of the process, we then take that information, head over to Amazon, build out the topic list by scanning the tables of contents of books that address the kind of pain point areas that we've found in the target profile interview and then verified on Amazon. Um, and then we can use the table of contents, the subheadings, the things you can see here from multiple books to give us a list of 20, 30, 40, as many video ideas as you actually want to make. Now the example that we've looked at today, Adrienne and her newbie bloggers and WordPress is a really fertile one because you could make 50 videos, 100 videos maybe, on various different aspects of WordPress for your target audience of newbie bloggers who are struggling with WordPress. What's important to note though is that not every topic that you find will yield 50 videos. But your original target profile interview should yield anywhere from three to five pain points that give you general target areas that you can then take to YouTube, check that people are making videos and people are watching videos more importantly. And then once you've verified that information, you can then build out and create more video ideas for yourself by using this process by going to Amazon, searching through books, getting topic ideas. Now, once you exhaust your original topic, to then carry on generating new ideas, choose a new target profile and just simply repeat the process. As you get more experience doing this process, you'll quickly find that you're never short of ideas to create videos from and you'll be creating one or two videos a week from now for, for the next five or ten years. If you head over to my website, links below the video and it's on the screen in front of you, you'll find a slightly longer written version of this video if you want to actually read rather than watch again or you want to check something and don't want to go back through the video. While you're there, if you want to learn how to write an ebook, I'm halfway through a 10 module course on that subject. It's practically free. It will just cost you your email address. You can put it in the subscribe box and you get access to the first five modules of that course. Okay, thank you for watching. And if you've got any questions about this, please post them below and I'll answer them as soon as I can.